What's up you guys? It's your boy Amazing Prosper. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you how I traded last week as a forest trader in Lagos, Nigeria. So last week was a very great week indeed in my forest career here. Yeah. I, traded, I traded very nicely. I did some things that I love and some things that I didn't love. So this is a journey. Uh, it's a journey it's not a destination yeah so uh i literally did something that i i did last week that i so much love like my trade management my risk management and every other thing that i did last week was a great thing so without wasting much of your time let's go directly to the chat let me share with you guys how i traded last week let's go so guys welcome to the chat yeah so um last week was a great week yeah indeed yeah so what happened here was this uh let's go over to four hours so you know what i do every day when i come into the chat i look from the four hours time frame yeah i look from the four hour time frame four hours time frame for me to get my is the four hour time frame yeah so uh from the four hour i found that the market was on a bullish trend so i was looking for bull buy opportunity from here so let's go on one hour so on four hour the market the, on one hour that did that week the market is still on a bullish trend so this was the bull the trend yeah it was on a bullish trend so i didn't check i've never touched my trend line so uh i go over to 15 minutes to take it trade. so what i do here is this uh literally i was looking for a buy here i was looking for a buy trade here and here so i i wasn't patient enough to wait for it to come down here properly because i had my trend line somewhere here my trend line was somewhere trend line was cutting somewhere here uh hold on no, this is not the one. I think that one was where it was. Yeah. I think that was when this market has been. Yeah, I had a micro or let's say mini trend line that was here. Yeah, that was here. So once I saw this first one, I was expecting to buy here. I brought in here. So my stop loss was below somewhere below here so the market moved out my favor but come down to hit my break even and i lost money from here so another one where i was looking for a buy trade was here too so here so the market moved on my favor so i was expecting it for the market to still be going up like i thought that it was going to be a very long bullish trend so i wasn't on the chart because i i in that account like in that 5k what i do now is because i wanted that whenever i get in i leave my trade and i go i go to do other things so i wasn't around because if i was around and i was seeing this with rejection i could have hopped out but i didn't hop out and so the market come down and come came down and hit my stop loss so i totally that day i lost about two percent from here so and it was amazing yeah so my trend line was here remember my trade line was here so i uh, i didn't have this this thing this push i didn't see this push then so my trend line was here and i put my I, I had a mini trend line that was going over here so so that was the reason uh here i lost one about it, it we didn't get up to one percent so here i was risking much so i lost about yeah two thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars total that day which is on tuesday so on Wednesday was also another experience that I did. I do have so then my trend line was a bit down here. So I saw this move and I saw this place and I was expecting for a push. So here the reason why I put this in here was why I was expecting it not work. So but I didn't lose money here much. Yeah, I didn't lose money here. So the place that I lost money was here. So I saw this place. I saw this thing as the first leg. This leg, the second leg. So I was expecting for the market to move up from here and going. And I was expecting this trend line to hold. I know it's a bit but so the market proved that i was wrong because the trend line was a bit much higher from where i was expecting it to go so the market was in a a little bit retracement level it, the market was retracing back here so i was literally expecting the market to move from here for a buy move so here i got in heavily yes i was heavily in here so i 
literally lost money here i think about three percent of the account yeah because i was seeing the move i confirmed i saw a sign of like the market is going to move like this place this place was a major high a major i i this place was like a major leg for me and this one won and this one is a second one so nothing in my mind that convinced me that the market is not going to move and if you see this candle you can literally see that this candle in drop this one yeah the candle it dropped this one yeah it kind of in drop this one like i thought that this was the major move so i start in here and i was risking heavily yeah so i lost about 169 dollar of my account at once yeah so it is what it is the reason why i lost this money was i was literally thinking that i'm going to i, I just i want to get my account to break even that day so um so but it didn't happen yeah the market proved the market proved to me that it is the market it is not my father's business <laughs> yeah so the account was very crazy yeah the trading was very crazy that week so i didn't trade again i was just observing all these things that was happening here so here was on friday yeah i i was expecting the market to move from here and it did this leg yeah but i didn't take the trade yeah so right now my account is on a bit my account is on a deep jordan like total jordan like totally about oh one total about 11 point something i don't know <laughs> like this was like a where the where the bible says that god has a secret and the tribune <laughs> live again <laughs> so this account is a very interesting journey yeah trading this account yeah i will still trade the account this week yeah i still have a mind that so anything can happen is trading yeah i can still come back and i can still pass so yeah so this place was a place on friday that i was expecting for a buy move i saw this thing but i didn't take it because i literally want to observe what is happening because i don't understand i was thinking that okay because of this consolidating that is it's going to likely consolidate here and it's not going to move much maybe if we reach here it's strong back and be you know those kind of a thing so i didn't take this but it went and about about you see 140 pips yeah the move was very much yeah but it is what it is yeah so the account is on a bit drawdown right now so um yeah so oh uh, what do you guys think comment below do you think that I can take this account up or do you think that can't yeah so anything that you have your opinion is required just comment below but as for me i know that anything can happen if i take the account to break even uh I can pass the account, even take it to break even, I also pass it. Yeah, you know, this account that was this account moved up to four percent. Yes, I made a, about four percent profit on above this account when I started early. My sec my I think the second trade that I took, yeah. I carried the account to four percent, but uh I didn't I didn't I didn't manage my risk properly, so I I got to this stage that I am in the account. So, but this account doesn't define that. So, hey, that's the certain thing that I want to discuss with you guys in trading. Yeah, a pro firm doesn't define the kind of trader you are. So, so many of us are not good in trading pro firm. So many of us are good in trading pro firm. So, but pro firm for me, I know that I'm going to take out money from it. I surely going to take matter out money from pro firm. Yeah. So, even if anything happened to this one, I'm still going to get another one because I'm a forest trader and I'm a successful forest trader, a profitable forest trader. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. The word of the day is very pretty simple, like fight. That's the word of the day, fight. Yeah, you have to fight. <laughs> Life is a battle. You have to fight. You have to fight to protect your peace. You have to fight to protect your wealth. You have to fight to protect everything that you you hold dear everything that you need you have to fight for it you have to be ready to fight for everything that you required in life because life is a fight yeah if you don't fight for it you're not going to have it you're not going to achieve anything that you want to do like what i mean by fight is not physical fight like going out or fighting but fighting against negative thoughts fighting against negative mood fighting against your emotions you know our body sometimes can be deceiving like it can it kind of like deceive you not to do what you say that you want to do and if you always obey your body and not do what you want to do or what you ought to do you are going to fall and you are going to become something that you don't want so life is a fight in as much as 
okay life is a fight also in trading yeah like you know so many times the reason why we do some certain things that we don't want to do in trading is because we don't withstand our emotions we don't withstand our um, our brains and our like everything like maybe psychologically like when you say maybe you are fighting psychological battles in trading the reason why you are fighting those things are because you don't hold strong like you don't you don't withstand the emotion to do the right thing you always do the wrong thing so life is a fight so you have to fight on those things you have to organize your life fight to fight to organize your life yeah don't allow the society the economy the everything going around the world to come in in between your life and your goal yeah you have to fight against them you have to let them out you have to keep them one side and still focus on the path stay on the path yeah so that's the word of the day today so if you are new here please consider subscribing and turn your bell notification see you in the next video God bless you.